We're a couple weeks post Kona and something that's become somewhat of a tradition in the days and weeks after the race. All sorts of photos and videos come out of huge draft packs out there on the bike and complaints about age group drafting. I've been in triathlon since 2012 and these sort of photos and videos come out every year. You have some athletes who say that there's just too many people on the course and there's nothing that can be done. And you have other people who are finger pointing and calling them drafters. No matter what side of the argument you're on, I'm sure you'd like to see something done on it, but so far there really hasn't been much in the way of action. So I've decided I'm gonna do a two-part video on the issues with drafting for age groupers in Kona. So in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why this problem exists and go through what some of the commonly suggested solutions are and why I don't necessarily think they'll work. And then I'm gonna put out a second video. I'm gonna talk about a little bit more of a radical solution that I'd have that I think could solve a lot of the drafting issues in Kona. The drafting issues can be traced back to two factors. You have the size of the field and parity within the field. So this year in Hawaii, there was almost 2,500 athletes that raced. So 2,500 athletes on its own isn't necessarily an issue if you had an even distribution of athletes among all ability levels, but Hawaii is very much geared towards the cream of the crop. So you have a lot of very strong athletes. So just looking at the swim time to figure out when everyone's starting their bike ride, you see that the majority of the athletes swim between 58 minutes and an hour and eight minutes. So that means that you have a whole lot of athletes that are all starting their bike rides at around the same time. Time. Lots of athletes starting the bike together cause the big pelotons to form and once they're formed They're really hard to break up. So what do we do to fix this problem? Well, there's four suggestions that I regularly hear being tossed around So I'm gonna take you through each of them and why I think each one has its issues less athletes on the start line To be honest, I don't think that Ironman or fellow athletes have any appetite for less athletes on the start line if we look at it from Ironman's perspective, Ironman is a for-profit enterprise. Sure, they're a custodian of the sport and it's very important for them for the health and well-being of the sport, but ultimately they do want to make money. And from the athlete's perspective, you already hear people complaining about how hard it is to qualify, so I don't think making that even more difficult is going to make them happy. Make it a two-day event and split the field. So this might seem like the perfect solution. I'm sure Ironman would love to do this. The athletes would love to see it happen. But from what I understand, it's not something that the community would get behind. So full disclosure, I've never been to Hawaii, whether it's for the race or just for vacation. But what I've heard from people who have been there is that the community isn't necessarily thrilled when Ironman comes to town. And so it seems very unlikely that the community would get behind this. Introduce an age group rolling start. So sure, this might help spread out the field, but would go completely against the spirit of racing, especially for a world championship. You want the person who crosses the line first to win. You don't want people who are crossing the finish line and then they've got to wait around and see where everybody else finishes to figure out where they stack up. Age group wave start. So sure, this might help thin out the field and especially in some of the age groups that are smaller age groups, but just looking at the male 40 to 44 age group this year, there's almost 400 athletes in that age group. And again, you have the issues where a lot of people have similar swim abilities. So it might make the pack smaller, but I think you're still gonna have issues with packs out there on the bike. So after watching this video, you might be thinking, geez, this guy's a pessimist. I'm gonna follow this video up with another video where I'm gonna introduce a solution that I have for this problem that's a little bit on the non-traditional side, but I think could make it much better, much more fair racing. So thanks a lot for checking this out. If you like what you see, you can click the subscribe button down below. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this you crazy mother...